Hi, welcome to this video brought to you by Maths From Scratch. Uh, my name's Rich, I'm an online maths tutor, and uh, this is how to do column method multiplication level two. Now, in this video, we are looking at what happens, or well, how do we use the column method for multiplication when we've got a number that's two digits, three digits long, and we want to multiply this by a single digit. Now, if you're new to the Maths From Scratch way of doing things, uh, I teach topics from scratch, uh, and my videos are based on levels. So you start at level one and work all the way through the various levels until you get to the end of the playlist. Um, this is level two, so obviously if you're new to column method multiplication, um, I suggest that you go back and watch level one and then come back to this one and keep watching the levels. So let's have a look at question number one then. So what we have, we've got a two digit number multiplied by a single digit number. And how this is different to level one is that level one just dealt with multiplying two single digits together. Whereas as you can see on these examples, we've got a two digit numbers, we've got three digit numbers. And this level two is all about how we approach the column method for that. So we'll write 42 at the top, then we're gonna multiply that by two. Now two is in the units column. So we'll write that underneath the units there. Okay, so then we're gonna draw our two lines. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to utilize this algorithm. Now an algorithm is just a posh word for a method. So what you can see now, I've actually just added a little faded version of this method. I'll put my time sign in there. And then this is the, this is the process that you're gonna follow. So we're gonna start at the two. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply upwards. So that's your step one. So two times two is four. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply this two by that four. So it's that, it's that kind of pattern that you're gonna follow. So then that's step two. So then two times four becomes eight. And so that's how we get 84. So it's your first step, your first step is to multiply upwards, then you multiply across. So let's have a look how this applies to uh, uh, example number two. So we've got 44 times two, so we'll set up the same little method. So two is in the units column, so we'll write the two underneath the units column. Okay, and then we'll utilize our help of the faded version which kind of looks exactly the same, which is pretty cool. And then again, remembering that pattern, we're gonna multiply upwards. So our two times four is eight. Then we're gonna multiply across. So again, it's that pattern. And then two times four is eight. So that gives us an answer to question number two, which is 88. Now don't underestimate how difficult these written methods are if you've never done them before. They're possibly some of the most complicated um, processes that there is in maths, I think, especially when you're first starting to learn it, because there's so many little variations of it. Okay, then so that brings us around to example number three. Now, obviously this is different to the first two because we've got a three digit number here. So again, let's have uh, the faded friend. And so the method or the algorithm that we're gonna use this time is it's very similar to number two. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna multiply upwards. So three times three is nine. And again, getting good at your times tables will make this method just easy. Then the second thing we're gonna do is multiply across. So three times three again is nine. So that's your second step. And then step three is we then just do the same, but then go to the number that's in the hundreds column. So then three times one, so then that gives us three. And then we'll read that number obviously as 399. And so the only bit that's different is we've got an extra multiply to do. So up, across, and across. And so this pattern, okay? And then you'll see, you'll get used to this pattern. And then when we start going through the other levels in column method multiplication, you'll see there's variations on this as well. But again, don't underestimate how kind of weird this is at first if you've never ever seen this before. Right, and then question number four then. So let's do three times one. So let's see if we can do it without our little fairy friend. So we're gonna start there. Three times one is three. Then we're gonna multiply across, similar to the second step here. Well, exactly the same as that step. Three times three is nine. And then three times five gives us 15. Now, similar to level one, because this is now a two digit number and we've actually finished our calculations, we can then go over into the thousands column there. So then we'll read that as 1,593. And so now we've just got two more examples for you to do. So we've got question five and question six. So question five, we've now got a four digit number that's been multiplied by a single digit number. So we've got a number in the thousands. And again, we've got our little faded version here so we can see what the pattern is. Now you can more or less predict I can imagine what you have to do here. So let's just write it on. So we're gonna do three times three, so we're gonna multiply up. So again, that gives us nine. Then we're gonna go across, three times two is six. Then we're gonna go again, we're gonna go across to the other three. So then three times three is nine, and then go across to this one. So three times four, then that gives us 12. And again, because it's a number that doesn't fit in one column, we write it like that. So that gives us an answer of 12,969. And so it doesn't matter how long this number is at the top. 
this is the method. So if you're multiplying it by a single digit, to use this column method, all you do is just fan it out. And it doesn't matter how many there is, that's the, that's the kind of the algorithm, the procedure that you follow. So now we've got question number six. And as you can see, this one does look slightly different to the others because we've got the single digit at the front. Now it doesn't matter because there's a property of multiplying where it doesn't matter in which order you multiply the numbers together, the answer will be the same. So we could swap this around and we could put the times four there and get rid of that one and it would be exactly the same. It doesn't matter, we get exactly the same answer. And so that's a, a property of multiplying that you just need to be aware of. Okay, and there'll be other videos based on that coming up in the near future and I bet you can't wait. So let's have a look at this one then. So it's a massive number, okay, 6,210,221 and we're going to times it by four. And so again, we're going to use the column method for multiplying to do this. So again, you can just imagine now, you can more or less guess again what's going to happen as in number five is that we're going to have lots of fans coming out or lots of, of these lines which tell us the root that we're going to multiply. So the first one, we're going to do four times one. So before I even do that, why don't I just write out Write out this calculation as the proper column method. Draw the lines. And now we can go. So four times one is four. Then we're going to multiply this one, multiply across. So four times two is eight. Then we've got another two. So four times two becomes eight. Four times nothing. Well, that's nothing. So then we've done that. Then we're going to multiply across again. So four times one becomes four. Four times two, when well, you don't have to write these lines on when you're actually doing the calculation. This is just so you can map out the root in your head. Four times two is eight. And then now we're on the last one, the last column. Four times six gives us 24. And that means we can encroach in this other column there with our two digit number. Okay. And so my answer for that is 24,840,884. And the convention that we have in the UK, which is where I'm based, is that we can just put little commas in just so we can easily read that number. So as is the case with all these videos that we do uh, here at Maths From Scratch, here are some practice questions for you to have a go at. Um, they will, these, the answers to these will be given in the answer walkthrough video that accompanies this level. So thanks for watching this video brought to you by Maths From Scratch. If you, th if you found it helpful, please like, subscribe, share, um, share the love, share it around, um, recommend it to people you think might need help with this. And uh, I'll see you again soon. Thanks.